we all, we're all fine. Everybody's fine? Yeah, yeah, we're all okay. Is Breaking news that we've been following this evening, devastating tornadoes hitting the heartland right now. We've been watching just incredible video coming from southern Kansas, and we are here in the Weather Center now with our chief meteorologist, Bill Kelly. Bill, this has really been something else to watch this unfold yeah. live. It's amazing. I mean, what we're seeing here in the, in the weather wall is a news crew. They were chasing this storm here, and they came across this semi-truck that was turned over that had been hit by the tornado there that's wow. in the backdrop. They get out of the car, they go to check it out. Here, take a listen. This is two miles southwest of Mineola on Highway 54. Um, a semi just got hit by this tornado. It happened right in front of us um, as this crossed Highway 54. It's moving from the southeast, southwest to the northeast. It just crossed. Um, and again, this is heading right up towards Mineola. You can see this tornado the condensation funnel comes about halfway to the ground, but as you can set, see, there is debris on the ground. We've got emergency help coming as we speak. Yeah, and we were watching this live as it was happening. This is video here. We're told that truck driver is okay. Mm. It's Thank amazing that we can watch in real time a storm oh, yeah. like this. This is kind of a first for us. It's Normally incredible. we get the aftermath or video from later. We were watching it happen as it was unfolding. In fact, the devastation was crews were just running out there. We could see the first responders going to these scenes as a home just got destroyed. Yeah, yeah. Destroyed. And, and we're watching, wondering what everybody else is wondering, and it's, are these people okay? Right. Early reports that we have is that some of the homes that they initially they're went gone. to, they're gone. they okay. were fine. The uh, fire department just told us everybody's gone. Okay. So great news there. Great I love news. Gloves. Okay, great news. Everybody on Facebook that's watching, you're watching. Did on you give them a location where that was? Yes, it's three miles okay. northwest of Bloom. All right, everybody's gone. David, this thing took a direct hit. It just this, this is our sister station here, what we're watching here, and th that's they're part of the Storm Chasers, and they went to that home. That home was absolutely ripped apart. We saw it happen. Live on the air. Live on the air, and then people went up, the, the Storm Chasers came up there, and they learned that everybody had already left that farm, so nobody was hurt. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just incredible, and, and like you said, we've been doing this for a long time, and I haven't seen it quite like that. Where it, Here we go again. I mean, this is live right now. The tornado down, down those power lines. Right, now the power lines are, are causing fires, fires in spots that didn't get affected by, by the rain. It's not saturated. So that's been going on this evening. This is outside Dodge City, Kansas, and we continue to watch the activity tonight with active tornado warnings as we speak. Widespread areas where there are tornado watch boxes as well. So let me show you where this storm is currently as we go into the evening. We're going to be monitoring this feed. If we see any of these tornadoes here live, I mean, Jeff, Mike Jaffe, our producer, just tell me. We'll pop it right back on the air live. It's, it's just astounding to watch. But here they are. These are these strong ones into Kansas. There's also some in Nebraska. The overall setup is this. This big area of low pressure has this warm front, but this is important. It's what's called a dry line, and that's basically where humid air is separated from dry air. And when you get that, there's really just this change that occurs in the atmosphere. Now, behind this is a cold front, and evident by the blue on the map back in the Rockies, they're dealing with snow over the weekend, and that could go as far off to the east here as parts of North and South Dakota. That shows you how strong this system is. Violent tornadoes on the one side, snow on the other side. It's just pretty incredible what's going on. And as we speak, there are two active tornado warnings right now with live storm spotters on the ground. We're monitoring their feed. We'll bring that to you uh, if there is something there and they are near one of these tornadoes. Otherwise, these are tornado watch boxes that are in effect. And there's also a severe thunderstorm watch that's in effect to the north. Tonight, this is the heart of where that severe weather is. It will happen again tomorrow, and that is going to be through parts of a good portion of Texas, up into Arkansas, and back over into Oklahoma. Then on Sunday, that storm system, as that front moves off to the east, that is going to affect the Midwest, places like Flint, Michigan, down toward uh, Indianapolis, just south of Chicago. For us, it's pop-up storms, not severe weather this weekend. However, as we look ahead beyond this, this whole thing's also moving off to the east, so we'll be talking a little bit more about next week and when we might get affected by it. But it's just been a remarkable night. It continues to be. We're watching this. We'll bring it to you. And, of course, we'll have your seven-day and your local details coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Bill. We'll see you then. Thank you very much. Now we turn to an ABC7 exclusive. A middle school play takes the stage with controversy and parents now in the production. Yeah, last month we reported the performance nearly didn't happen and at the heart of the debate is it potentially offensive language or is it homophobia that had Hyattsville Middle School considering a cancellation only on seven our Heather Graff now with the update and tonight's disclaimer about the 25th annual Putnam County